All right, so for this how to blender video, I'm going to show you how to use the bubble tool to make bubbling for edges, um, vertices and faces of a 3D object, but also how to use the bubbling to around um, a plane, which only really has, you know, uh, vertices and um, edges. So let's get started. All right, so let's make our 3D volume shape right press tab what we can do left bevel faces pick a face and then we'll see we can make some changes here pretty easy um, if you want to change things up you can add more segments uh, one really cool thing I found was if you press the custom tool you have like this inverted um, shape curve see that you can use to create some weird shape bevels for your faces if you like so I recommend that otherwise it's kind of just rounding to that face like that all right let's see and let's go to an edge right here and let's say you want that edge kind of rounded like this but only from here to here uh, we can do that same with beveling like if we only if we leave it as is it'll just be like a cutoff part but if you change the settings I mean the properties here again add some more segments and you can round it out and make it smooth like that. Um, see. Right. And again, custom, you've used that. Oh, oh it's weird. Okay. No. I do it, custom. There we go. I guess you just need to add some more segments before the curve can actually take effect here for it. But yeah, you can do that stuff too. Um, up to you how you use it, but uh, might be really cool for some like fancy tables or whatever. But yeah, that's up to you. All right. And lastly, let's find a uh, uh, vertice. So this vertice right here. Go to the bubble tool and nothing really happens. Um, so go to the bevel properties, click vertices, and there you are. So it's already beveled, so you're gonna bevel within that bevel. And so, like, if you increase it, uh, it's just gonna make some weird stuff. So what you can do to make it easier for yourself to bevel with vertices is go to this edge right here i mean this vertice and select shift control b and then you can use the mouse to move things oh sorry oh, control c yeah control shift control b then you have the mouse control and you can make that uh bevel for that vertice a lot more interesting and let's say you want to smooth this out so that from all three sides it's smooth for that vertice you just increase using the middle button so like that and you can have some pretty pretty cool shapes like this see and so then with the properties over here um, I guess you can select custom and you can have some weird inverted um, <laughs> Uh, topology right here see so hopefully that gives you some crazy ideas um, so like uh, maybe like a plane and a lot of vertices and you can create some weird stuff there and lastly uh, something a lot of people look up is how to create a rounded um, a plane so let's go top view and 
and select vertices here. And again, like I said, uh, you can use the bubble tool, but I would recommend first using the uh, key shortcuts, which is shift control B and then moving things along and increasing the vertices as you see fit. But oh, let's go back to super collide <laughs> uh, instead. Right. But as you can see, select the vertice, shift control B, increase the bubbling, increase the segments, decrease the segments, uh, and you can round uh, planes like that. And then let's see, tab faces. You can export. So now you have this like uh, semi rounded uh, 3D object from a plane. It's pretty cool. All right. I hope this helps. And until the next video.